what we're talking about today, I'm going to give you a puzzle and I'm going to let you guess and we'll see if you can figure out what we're talking about today. Are you guys ready to guess the puzzle? Yeah. You guess the puzzle. Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Ilya, Ilya hasn't been with us before, so he might not even know how this works yet because I don't think he's done one of our puzzles. Are, you guys ready? Are we ready to see the puzzle? Okay. Pay attention. I'm gonna pay attention and I'm going to show you our our puzzle okay so give me just one second and i'm going to show you the puzzle that we have for you okay this is the this is remember this puzzle is going to tell us what our topic is today okay so this is the first part of our topic who can tell me what this is no i don't see it what's the foot a foot, but look, there's a little arrow. Do you see the arrow is pointing to something? I know that, yeah. What is that? No. An ankle. No, it's not an ankle. Where's the arrow pointing? Who said heel? Ground. Good, that's right. It's pointing to the heel. Okay, so that's for the first part of our puzzle, okay? Yes. So the first part of our puzzle is heel. You guys ready for the second part? Are you guys ready for the second part of the puzzle? Hang on. What is it? Here's, here comes, okay, you can see this, right? This is our heel. Now the second part of the puzzle is? Where is it? I don't see you. Let's try this again. Here's the second part of our puzzle. What's that? I don't, I don't see it. Does, who doesn't see my screen right now? Me. Me. Okay, let's, try. Yeah. Robert, let's try again. Can you guys see my screen now? No. Really? You can't see my screen? Yeah. 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 Okay, so you can't see it. Very good. Okay, so the first part of our puzzle. Let's say it together now. The first part is? No. Ankle egg. Where's the, where's the arrow pointing? Heel. 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 Thank you. And then the second part? Egg. 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 Let's say those. Let's say those together, like one word. Ankle. Ready? Ankle. No, it's not ankle. Ankle. It's not ankle. It's a heel, right? Heel. Let's say those two words together. Heel. Heel. Egg. Heel. Egg. Heel. 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 Egg. Egg. Right. Egg. Okay, you guys ready for the third part of the puzzle? Yeah. Are you guys ready? For, so we got two parts already, right? Who remembers what they are? Yeah. Egg. Very good. Heel egg. Now we're going to do our next part. Are you ready? Here it comes. So we have heel egg. What's that? Three. 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 Very good. Let's say those three things together now, like one word. Ready? Three. Three leg tree. Okay. Are you guys ready for the last part of the puzzle? Yes. Here it comes. Yes. What's that? City. Very good. That's a city, right? Now let's say all four of those things together really fast. Ready? Heel, egg, tree. City. City. Heel, egg, tree, city. That's right. 
right, very good, my friends. Electricity, that is our topic of today. Okay. Oh, that's look at Juliana. Oh yeah, she's she's uh she's uh, got a fancy. Look at my blanket. Okay, now wait a second, guys. I'm gonna mute everybody for a second, and then I'm gonna unmute one person at a time, and I want each of you to tell me. Uh, yes. Okay, tell me something. I know you don't go. Uh, you know what? I have an assignment for you. Come here. No, you need to stay here though. I have an assignment for you. Okay, huh? right. Go over there. I already prepared a paper for you. Look at this. I don't know. I want to plug stuff in. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm gonna unmute each one of you, and I want you to tell me. Well, you can tell me if you know what electricity is and if you know what you use it for. Okay. So first, I'm unmuting Bella, uh, Shayla, and Lyra. Can you guys hear me, Bella, Shayla, and Lyra? Yes. Okay. Tell me, do you know what electricity is? Yes. Yes. Okay. And tell me one thing that you use every day that needs electricity. Phone. Okay. Light. And? A computer. Very good. Very good. Phone, light, and computer. Now I'm going to go. Hang on, you're not participating. You didn't want to participate, right? Now I'm going to Remy. Remy, can you tell me one thing that you use electricity for every day? Light, iPad, and... Okay, light is good, right? Okay, thank you, Remy. And now let's go, I'm just going in order here. Let's go to Juliana. Juliana, Besides light, phone, and computer, what else do we use electricity for every day? TV. TV, very good. Okay, I'm gonna mute Juliana. And now we've got Ilya. Hi, Ilya, nice to meet you. Can you tell me, Ilya, one thing that you use electricity for every day? Ilya's thinking about it. Okay, you can think about it for a bit. What about Wyatt? Wyatt, are you there, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Tell me one thing that you use electricity for every day. TV. TV. Very good. Thank you, Wyatt. And now let's go to Mila. Mila, are you there? Mila is not there. She must be using electricity right now while we're talking. And what about Kamalani? Kamalani, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Kamalani, what's one thing you use electricity for every day? Okay, you can think about it for a minute. We'll come back to you. Mila, are you there? Uh, Mila, come back to us. I'm not ready yet. Okay, Mila, come back to us. Mila, tell us one thing that you use electricity for every day. Um, Using right now something on a computer. On a computer, very good. And now let's go to Lana. Lana, tell me one thing you use electricity for every day. Okay, we'll come back to Lana. And what about, oh, hi, it's Nathan. Hi, Nathan, how are you? Can you hear me, Nathan? I don't know. Magic Nathan. Can you hear me, Nathan? I don't know if Nathan can hear me. We'll come back to Lana. Are you ready? Looks like you're ready to tell us. Tell us one thing that you use electricity for every day. iPad. For the iPad. Very good. And let's go to Lisa. Lisa, are you ready to tell us what yes. you use electricity for? Go ahead and tell us. Yes. Um, TV. You use electricity for TV every day. Very good. And now... R very good. Thank you, Dove. And now Rami. Rami, can you, are you there? Are you there, Rami? R there he is. Rami, tell us one thing that you use electricity for every day. I uh, can't hear, can't hear Rami. Rami, tell me one more time. Peter. The 
Computer. Exactly. We are. I'm going to need your help for that, though. So don't leave. Stay right here, okay? Yeah, I'll leave and then you call me. No, I need you here, please. This is our time to do the lesson. I need you right here. No, I, you're not going upstairs. You're staying right here and doing the lesson. I'll go upstairs and then I'll come back. All right. So, guys, here's the big question, okay? Everybody did a really great job of suggesting one thing you use electricity for. We have computer. We have iPad. We have TV. We have the phone. And what else? Did, did I miss anything? Computer, iPad, TV, phone. Did anybody say refrigerator? Computer. Computer. I, I, Did anybody I, say refrigerator? iPad. iPad. Very good. <laughs> Who can tell me, guys? Who can tell me? Where, does anybody know, this is a really hard question, where does electricity come from? No. Does anybody know? It's a pretty tough question. I'm gonna mute everybody for a second because it's, it's a little bit hard to hear and I'm gonna unmute one person at a time again in order. So I'm gonna go to Bella, Shayla, and Lyra. Do you guys know, where does electricity come from in your house? Like when you need to... Uh, no ropes. From where? No. Wires. From wires. wires. Very good. Very good. And when you need to charge your... Uh, you guys said phone, right? When you need to charge yeah. your phone. Yeah. Where do you... What do you do to charge it? Oh, they disappeared. Okay, let's go to Remy. Remy... What did you say you use electricity for every day? <clears throat> for the iPad. When your iPad needs to be charged, what do you do with it? I connect it to um, a thing on the wall. Exactly. You connect it to a thing on the wall. And who knows? Let me see if maybe um, Ilya knows what that thing on the wall is. Ilya, what's that thing that we have in the walls of our house where we connect things where we plug things in what are those called do you know Ilya? no okay think about it for a moment does anybody know if you know raise your hand what's the thing in the wall called where we connect things juliana do you know charging station, charging station. okay it looks like dove did a really good drawing can you guys see that I guess it goes like this, right? Does this look familiar? This is a, a cord, right? And it's going into, what's that called? Anybody know? It starts with letter O. Raise your hand if you know. That's me. Outlet, outlet, outlet. Yes, it's called an outlet. Very good. That's exactly what it's called. It's called an outlet. Then you'll see the real here. Uh, and what happens, what happens if you, if you put your charger, if you put your, uh, wire into the outlet, you get electricity, right? But let's find out what happens if we put our finger into the outlet. Should we do it? Here, hold the, Can you hold the outlet? No. Okay, puppet, puppet, pop, is, no. puppet pop, should puppet papa put his finger into the outlet? Yes! Yeah. Who thinks Puppet Papa should No, 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 no. Do it? No. Do it? No. Do it? No. Maybe I should do it. Yeah. What do you guys what do you guys think is what do you guys think is gonna happen if Puppet Papa puts his finger into the outlet? He's gonna burn he's gonna get zapped. He's, he's, he's probably gonna get electrocuted, right? He's gonna get hit with electricity. You think it's gonna hurt? Yes. It's gonna hurt a lot. Is it dangerous? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Should we, should Puppet Papa do it anyway? Because no, no, he's just a puppet. No, 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 no,
Of course, evil bad good because evil bad does bad things, right? So here he's good. Let's do it. Are we ready to do it? I'm gonna put my finger in the southland and let's see what happens. Ah. You're frozen. Am I back? Yeah. Yeah, but you're you're moving like slowly. It's slowly. I know the connection is really bad today. I don't know what's going on. But let me know. Let me know when you guys can see me. Okay. Can you see me better? Now? Yeah, but you're frozen. You're oh, smiling. No. Frozen. You, you're frozen smiling. Frozen. And dog holding the paper. Mm. Okay, I don't now know. Now we see you moving, but you're like a little blurry. How about now? Is that okay now? Yeah, yeah but you're blurry. Blurry. Okay. Wait <laughs> a second. Hang on, hang on second. I think I know what's going on here. I think I know what's happening. Uh, can you um, quickly run up there and tell mommy to stop? <laughs> Hang on, guys. Bear with me for a second, okay? Hang on, guys. We're gonna. I'll be right back with you because we still gotta see what happens when Evil Bad puts his finger in the outlet. Okay, I'm sorry about the bad connection. We're gonna see if we can fix it. Sammy, am I back now? Am I or am I still blurry and frozen? Blurry and frozen. Blurry and frozen. Did you talk to him? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Is it better now? Yeah, but you're still blurry. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Let's see. You want to sit here or you want me to sit? You to sit. Okay. Me? Okay, so you come over here. Is it better now, you guys? Yes. Yes? Okay. Oh, all right, we're going to try our best here. Here we go. Did I put my finger in the outlet? Yes. 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 I'm gonna do it. No. Doing it. Right, let's all count. Let's all count to three. One, One two, two, three. Okay. Four, ten. No, you're frozen. We couldn't see it. You're frozen. Who saw it? Did anybody see it, or was it frozen the whole time? the whole time oh my goodness what are we doing today um let me see how we can make it maybe better. youtube doesn't want you to do it mm, maybe yeah maybe we're frozen because it doesn't want us to do it guys do you know how electricity works so guys Electricity works if you want to talk to somebody on your phone. The electricity, um, the, you 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 try to do it, and then the electricity kind of frozen. It goes to space. Hang on, guys. We're we're and, trying to and fix then, something. Then, then the the electricity goes to the. Uh, satellite. I don't know. And it goes to the satellite, and then it goes back down to the person you want to talk to. Is that interesting? No. No. What we're going to do is I'm going to mute everybody. And I am going to unmute. Da, 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 let's see. I'm going to unmute Sammy and Aya. Sammy and Aya, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so we we definitely did not want Evil Bad to put his fingers in the outlet, right? 
Yeah. Why, yeah. why, why didn't we want him to put his fingers in the outlet? Because he's going to get kazapped. Because he's going to get kazapped. That's an interesting way to put it. There's inside the outlet, we have electricity, right? It's the thing that powers our phones and our iPads and our TVs. But if you put your fingers inside there, you can actually get an electric shock. So you definitely don't want to do that. How many of you have a little brother or sister? Me. Yeah. And how many of you have little, um, how many of your parents put little plastic caps over the outlets? Me. Yeah. Have you seen those? Those are there to protect your little baby brothers and sisters from accidentally putting their fingers on the outlets, just like your parents did that for you when you were little, right? Okay. So we definitely know that we, we definitely know that we don't want Bob is Juliana. We definitely know that we do not want to put our fingers on the outlet, right? Absolutely not. No. Juliana. Oh, I don't know because Juliana, because Juliana is uh, is playing j tricks with us. She's having fun with us. Can you guys, can you guys um, see my screen now? Can you see this? Yeah. Yeah. Who knows what that is? That is. That's the sun. And who knows? <clears throat> and who knows what this is? It's a cloud. What's the cloud doing? Blowing. blowing. It's blowing. What do we? What do we call that when there's a like blowing in the clouds? What is that? I don't know. Winter. Mm -hmm. Wind. Wind. Very good. That's right. It's a. This wind. is wind. Okay. And what about this? Who knows what that is? Fire. fire. Very good. Fire. fire. You know, fire is doing sun. Fire is sun. Yes, that's right. The sun is definitely fire. The sun is very, very hot. So we have, uh, we have the sun. We have wind. We have fire. And who knows what that is? It might be a little bit hard to see, but who knows what that is right there? What is that? Dirt. It's earth. Dirt. dirt. It's dirt. dirt. Exactly. It's earth, right? It's dirt. So these are called the four elements, right? The four elements. We have sun, wind, fire, and earth. Has anybody ever heard that before? No. No? Yes. yes. The four elements. Sun, wind, fire and earth and did you guys know that when we talk about where electricity like when we're in our house right i'm going to come back to me for a second hopefully you can see me okay can you guys see me all right yeah, yeah am i a little bit better you're a little bit blurry oh i'm a little bit blurry okay that's okay i'm and sometimes you're also freezing okay but you can hear my voice right yes yeah Perfect. So let's just work with, let's just work but with. I see your hair is short. It's very short. That's right. It's almost non-existent. Uh, so we can work with my, with blurry Papa, but as long as you can hear me, we'll, we'll try to work with that. Okay. So in our house, when we, when we need electricity in our house, it's pretty easy, right? We just uh, plug something into the outlet, not our fingers, right? We definitely don't want to plug our fingers into the outlet. But we. I can put things on the outfit because I'm very careful. Very good. That's right. Be everybody. Be careful, like Lisa, and don't put stuff in the outlet. Okay. So the only thing you should put in the outlet is a plug from a charger or the plug from an appliance, like a TV. Or let's think about all the other things we have in our house that use electricity: toasters, television, yes. computers, iPads. iPads. Uh, what other appliances do we have in our kitchen? Coffee machines, pots, lots of different things, right? So, iPads. yeah. What else do we do? What else do we do in our house uh, with, that needs electricity? Check this out for a second. 
Let's check this out. What just happened? You go away. I went away, but what else happened? Did it get brighter or darker? Darker. It got darker. Now. What happened? Did it get brighter or darker? Brighter. Brighter. What did I what did I do to make it brighter and darker? Who can guess? <laughs> Turn the light on and off. Exactly right. On and off. I turned Turn on the light. And off. Mm -hmm. I turned the on light. And off. On and off. Exactly. Very on simple. And off. All, on, and off. on and off. We all have our uh, in our house we have light switches, right? And we just when we need light, we go click and the light goes on. And when we don't need light, we go click and the light goes off, right? But where does the electricity come from to help us turn the light on and off? Where does the electricity come from to help us charge our iPhones and our iPads? Where does it come from to help us make eggs in the morning? Does anybody know? Eggs. Is there like a... Is there like a, um, I don't know, like a, a dog in the sky that sends us little bags of electricity when we need it? Who thinks there's a dog in the sky that sends electricity? No? Maybe there's a tree and electricity grows on the tree. Who thinks electricity grows on the tree? Anybody? No? Nobody thinks electricity grows on the tree? What about um, Santa Claus? Santa Claus brings electricity. Ilya, what do you think? Ilya is shaking his head. No. No, it's not Santa Claus? I think, Ilya, I think Ilya might know where it actually comes from. Ilya, do you want to tell us the truth? Where does electricity actually come from? From the machines. From the machines. That's very good. That's absolutely right, right? there are definitely a lot of machines that help produce electricity. But basically, okay, let's think about a long, long time ago, before we had cars, before we had uh, planes, before we had iPads, before we had anything like long, long time ago when our ancestors used to live in caves. Can you guys imagine way, way back then? Do you guys know about our ancestors? There was no cars, no electricity. <laughs> no cars, no electricity, no TVs, no computers, no iPads, no iPhones, no space shuttles, no toasters, no remote controlled cars. No, 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 no anything electricity. <clears throat> Nothing electric at all. Before electricity, long, long time ago when our ancestors lived in caves, what did they have? How did they keep themselves warm? From the fire. They made, very good, Ilya. They made fire. Fire created heat, right? They would burn wood and that created like a, like a campfire. Like a campfire. That's exactly right. They would make a fire and that fire would create energy in the form of heat and that heat would keep them warm, right? And that's it. <clears throat> they couldn't turn on the heater. Yes, Juliana. There was even nothing. There was there wasn't even one heater. On May, on May 9, I'm gonna go camping in my house. Wow! Are you gonna make a campfire in your house? No. You Lana, you Lana, you sound strange. Juliana, you sound strange. She says. Maybe it, maybe everybody's internet connection is a little bit slow today. So Juliana is going to go camping in her house next week or the week after. But yeah, a long, a long time ago, there was no electricity, right? People needed to figure out, it took a long time to figure out how to make electricity. And so electricity, very, in a very, very basic way. Juliana is not strange, she's just loud. That's good. I like loud kids, so I can hear you. So electricity comes from, in a very basic way, it comes from these four elements, from the sun, from the wind, from fire, and from earth, right? But how does that happen? I mean, you can't, can you just, uh, can you just uh, take your iPad and plug it into a fire to charge it? No. Broken. 
Yeah, yeah, that would be bad. What about, can you take your television and just blow on it to give it, to, to make it work? Oh. No. no? Like, just put your television <laughs> outside on a windy day and then it'll start working? Yeah. No? What about, um, just plug your refrigerator into the ground? No. Into the earth. <laughs> no? That's not going to work? What, okay, what about, um... What about put your uh, computer out in the sun and no. then it'll just start working? I just like, no, 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 no. no, Lisa, that's not going to work? I think it is. It is? If you just put your computer out in the sunlight, it'll start working by itself? No, 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 no. 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 Okay, so I don't understand. If electricity comes from the sun and wind and fire and the earth, how come we can't just plug our stuff right into those things and make them work? You need to mix them up. You need to mix them up. Very interesting, Rami. Very interesting point. I think Rami's on to something because you can't just take the raw form of, of sunlight or wind or fire or uh, elements from the earth. You can't just take those things and hope that they're going to create electricity for us. You have to, like Ron, you have to mix them up or you have to convert them into electricity, right? And how do we convert? That's a really interesting word, right? Who knows what that word means, convert? Let's write that word. So we can convert. We're going to write that word and share my screen. Who can read that word? Convert. Convert. So we have, we have, let's try, we have the, the sun and we have, and we have, and we have, earth. We have those things, but we have to convert them in order to turn them into electricity. And so how do we do that? Has anybody ever seen- You can't just take fire because it's gonna burn your hand. No, you absolutely cannot just take fire because it's gonna burn your hand. That's absolutely right. So- Or you will. And, and you can't put in metal. It's just gonna- No, absolutely not. So let me show you guys another picture and let's see if- I'm going to show you another picture, and I want you guys to tell me if you can recognize what this is, okay? So here comes the photo. Are you ready? Who knows what that is? Windmill. Yeah, that's a, that's a windmill. What does it do? As you in the wind. It makes electricity. It makes electricity. How does it make electricity? This is the big question that we're going to try to answer today. Wind? Yes. What happens? What happens when the wind blows? What happens to this thing when the wind blows? It's, it's going to spin, right? And what happens when it? What happens when this big fan spins? When the big when this big fan spins, it creates energy, right? It creates energy, and then we can we can take that energy and we can put it through, like Rami said, we can mix it up. We can put it through something called a generator, and then that generator turns the energy from the wind into electricity, right? So that's how wind creates electricity for us. It doesn't create it directly. We can't just take our toaster and plug it into the wind, right? We can't take our computer or our iPhone and just leave it on a windy day and it's gonna charge. But the way that wind creates, you guys remember wind? Where's our wind here? Where's our wind? Wind is here, right? There's our wind. So our wind blows and that turns these propellers and that creates energy and then that energy through the turns into electricity, right? I want to see the energy share You know, sometimes I see these things when you show 
Like, yes, the big, the big, um, the big what? windmills. You see them yeah, when yeah, you're driving, I right? Saw it one time. Yeah, you see them when you're driving on the freeway, and they usually put them in places where there's a lot of wind, right? Yeah. In places where there's a lot of wind. Okay, so that's how. That's our first answer, right? That's how wind gets converted into electricity, right? Like Rami said, we can't just take pure wind or pure fire or sun or earth and turn that and, and make that power our devices. It has to get mixed up or it has to get converted into electricity, right? So here's the next question. You guys ready for the next question? Yeah. How does... How does sunlight turn into electricity? Eric, what? Mm -hmm. Does the sunlight spin the? <laughs> the sunlight spin those? The sunlight spin those uh, fans? <laughs> no. So how does how does sunlight uh, turn into it, electricity? Uh, it's fire and it makes energy. <laughs> Yeah, so sunlight does turn into electricity, but again, it needs something to convert it or to mix it up, right? And I'm gonna show you guys something, and this is a big question, but maybe you guys can answer it for me. I'm gonna share my screen again. Who knows what that is? Can you guys see that? Who knows what that is? Uh, I forgot what that name is. Those are solar, solar panels. Panel. Oh, I forgot that name. Solar panels. That's right. Those are solar panels. You My can brother forgot that name. But now he remembers, right? Because we said it. Those are solar panels. And those solar panels is what helps us. We have it next. Um, my, our neighbor has it. Yes. Those, you, you usually see them like on people's roofs, on the roofs of houses. Not on, on the roof. Mm -hmm. So those are solar panels. When the sun shines down, the heat energy from the sun gets converted through the solar panels to electricity. So it's just, Rami said a really great and interesting thing, that we can't just use those four elements, sun, wind, fire, and earth. We can't just use those things to power our devices. We have to first mix it up with something. We have to convert it, right? So the solar panels is the way that we take energy from the sun and convert it into electricity, right? But it's over time with like six minutes. Yeah, it takes some time. Uh, the more sunlight you have shining on the solar panels, the uh, the the more electricity you can you can convert, right? So let's go back to our screen here. What's our next element? So we talked about sun. We convert sun solar energy, energy from the sun into electricity through solar panels. And we convert energy from the wind in. We convert energy from the wind into electricity through those uh, windmills or turbines. What about fire? How do we turn fire into electricity? I know. Who knows? Me. Yes. Uh, Rami, tell me. Rami knows? Who knows? Lisa, how do we convert fire into electricity? No? I know. <laughs> How do we uh, convert fire into electricity? Uh, we put some sticks in, like, like do this, then it's going to come. Mm. Let me show you a really interesting picture, okay? okay. That's going to help us understand how we convert fire into electricity. When you, oh, that doesn't work at all. Hold on. When you guys, uh, who's boiled, who's made tea before for soup on the stove? Have you made tea or soup on the stove? Yeah? I do. Yeah, and what happens when you boil soup, boil tea on the stove? What happens? It's just like what what happens when we boil water on the stove? What does it make? What happens inside the water? Bubbles. Bubbles. Very good. And what happens above the water, above the pot? Steam, right? 
Who said steam? Me. Very good, very good. So when we, when we boil water, what do we need to boil water? We need fire, right? We put a, a pan or a pot on the stove with water. We turn on the stove and the fire underneath that pot starts to boil the water, right? And when we boil the water, it makes steam, right? Exactly, or like a campfire. Campfire will do the same thing. Fire will boil water and that will create steam. And this, this, you see this giant thing? Yes. This, is a, this is called a turbine, a steam turbine. So what happens is, just like the wind will spin the windmills that we looked at, the steam from boiling water will spin this turbine, right? And that can get converted into electricity. So the way that fire turns into electricity is that we heat water and that water creates, evaporating creates steam and the steam will spin this giant turbine, right? You move this way, how many points? Very good. So now I think Sammy, was it Sammy that asked what about Earth? Yeah. Yeah, was that you, Sammy? Yeah. Good. Let's talk about our last element, Earth. Maybe you guys know, how do we get energy from the Earth? Right? This is 90% approximately. Does it make uh, sense that 100 is 18? How do we get energy from the Earth? Anybody know? Lisa, you know? Juliana, do you know? No? What do we put in our cars, you guys? People. People? What do we put in our... How does our car go? What makes our car go? Yeah. Gas! Yeah, yeah unless, you have, unless you have a Tesla, right? But if you have a regular car, not a Tesla, you have to put gas in your car, right? Well, where does, where does gas come from? Gas comes from electricity. Well, gas doesn't come from electricity. Gasoline comes Ooh. from it's it's a, it's a fuel, right? But where do we where do we get that fuel? It comes from oil that we take out of the ground, right? So you guys remember the dinosaurs? Who remembers the dinosaurs? Raise your hand if you remember the dinosaurs. We talked about them. So the dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago, right? Is that right? Not really, I think. Not really? Like maybe last week they went extinct? No. No? Years and years ago. Like Millions of years ago, right? Like a million years ago. That's, that's right. That's right. Uh, millions and millions of years ago, uh, dinosaurs went extinct and other, uh, and other animals uh, also, lots of things died and they uh, decomposed in the ground. Because of the asteroids. Mm-hmm. Whoa, that was gross. So, so there's a, there's a lot of stuff in the ground that, that turned into material that we can take out of the ground and turn, <laughs> and turn into fuel, right? It basically turns deep down underneath the ground. There's material that over time turned into oil and we can take that out of the ground and, and again, through, like Rami said, after we mix it up, we can convert it into gas and then we can put that into our car and our car is going to create a process where that gas powers our car and makes it go right so that's how we get electricity from the earth is we take out oil out of the earth and we convert that into electricity that one is a little bit harder to understand but you guys generally do you understand that we have four elements the sun there's, wind, um, lava fire, and the earth, and each of those gives us 
materials or gives us uh, sources of energy that we can then convert into electricity. Do you guys understand that? More or less? Okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about one last thing, you guys, then I'm going to let you go because this has been a challenging class. But okay. how, does, how do we get electricity to our houses? Where does it come from? So let's say we have wires. Yeah, it comes from wires, right? So when, how does our body get energy? Like when we, how does our body get energy? The food. The food, right? How do you get we have food. We, uh, we, we eat food. The food gets, like Rami said, it gets mixed up in our body. It gets converted into energy in our body and different nutrients that our body needs. And then in our body, and I'm going to show you one more picture. I'm going to show you one more important picture here. Hang on. Let me find it first. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, here it is. I found the picture. So when we eat, food goes into our... Can you guys all see that? Yeah? Everybody can yeah. see this? Yes. We what, can. Are we, what are we looking at? What is that? Previews, one, two, three, four... RF.com images. Right here. What are we what are we looking at? Oh, the man? Yes, the man. Body. What's in what's inside the man there? Wait, but you might give me a nightmare. No, oh, no nightmares. This is this is what's inside our body. These are arteries that are inside our body. They carry what? What do these what do these red tubes carry around our body? Blood, 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 of course. And why do we need blood? Remember, we talked about this before. Blood carries what around our body? You know, one time I get a blood right over there. Uh huh. So, so uh, the the arteries and the blood vessels carry blood around our body to provide nutrients to the different part of our different parts of our bodies that need them, right? There, there's nutrients in atoms. So yeah, so nutrients travel around our body through this system of, of tubes, basically, that exist inside our body. Well, guess what? How does electricity get to your house? It gets to your house basically the same way. Electricity gets to your house through a power plant or a, pl a place that generates electricity, and then it goes to your house through a series of wires. Who recognizes these? I don't know the name though. Yeah, they're they're called electrical wires, basically, right? And they're when you're driving around, you can see them everywhere. So electricity, in order to get from uh, a place that produces electricity, which is usually some sort of a power plant, like the old phones. Yeah, like the old phones, exactly. So it's carrying electrical current from places either that produce electricity using uh, solar power, like solar panels or places that produce electricity that use wind power, like those turbines that spin, right, that we looked at that look like big fans, or places that use uh, heat to create power, like coal plants where they burn uh, an element like coal, it creates steam, the spin turns that big turbine that I showed you guys, right, and that creates electricity. Or, what was our fourth one? We had sun, wind, earth, I'm sorry, sun, wind, uh, fire, and earth, right? So places that use oil to create electricity. So any of those places, uh, they will... Like the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. there's, actually, there's actually one more that I, I think I'm going to show you guys because we have a little bit of time. Um, so let me show you. Yeah, let's see if we can find that. You not share screen. Yeah, I'm 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 searching for it. There's one more element that I want to share with you guys because I think you can appreciate this. Who knows what that is? I I I, not, I know who a waterfall. It's a waterfall, but it's actually created by what? Is it created by nature? Yeah. Um. No, this waterfall is created by people, right? Oh, that one? 
<clears throat> yes, people create, this, is, this is called the dam. It's called the dam. And it's using the force of the water, the energy that water creates, to turn that into electricity, right? So there's another element. We talked about sun, we talked about wind, we talked about fire and earth, and there's also water, right? Water can also help us produce electricity. The energy that comes from the flowing water can be converted into electricity as well. So all these places, there, there are big places that produce electricity, and then, we're not gonna talk about batteries today, electricity goes from those power plants or those dams through a series of electrical wires to your home, right? <clears throat> That's why we see these things everywhere. So just like blood is carried around your body and carries nutrients to the different parts of your body that need them, electrical wires are the vessels that carry electricity from power plants from places that produce electricity to your home where you can simply stick uh, an, uh, a plug into the outlet and you can get electricity, right? But what do we not want to stick into the outlet? Our finger. Our fingers. Do you guys remember, do you guys remember what happened to Evil Bad when he put his fingers in the outlet? Yes. Should we try it again? Yeah. Should we do it? Yes. All right, let's count to three. Now, now you're okay, you're very okay. Now I'm okay? All right, let's count to three. One. One, two, three. <laughs> Should we do it again? Yes. Do it a million times. One. Two. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it one more time, but is it okay to do this in real life? Yes. Who said yes? Absolutely not. It is absolutely not okay to put your fingers in an outlet and make sure you tell your little brothers and sisters the same thing. Okay, Evil Bad is going to tell you one more time what absolutely not to do. Don't be like Evil Bad, right? Here we go. Evil Bad is is doing bad things and he's gonna put his fingers into this outlet. <laughs> but he, he should have died because he did that a couple times. Well, you know, actually I'm gonna tell you a quick story. When my little brother was very little, he did put his fingers into an outlet. And what happened was he, his finger, he got electrocuted and his finger turned black. Yeah, it turned really black, like especially around the nail. So definitely. You know, one time I have the same thing, but it's just something else. One time my friend Tulana just um, said to me, um, to close the doors, the fire was being, but there was no fire, and I closed my finger. Was there. Oh, you closed your and finger was, in the door? It was being black. Ouch. Ouch. It was being with ta and Tahoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful. So, guys, the lesson is electricity is extremely powerful, and it helps us live our lives, and it helps us power all of the devices that we use in our homes but you have to be very careful with it. It's a very powerful thing and you can't mess around with it, okay? No fingers in outlets. You gotta be real careful around electricity and I'm sure your parents tell you the same thing, okay? So thank I you. Never do it. I just put the thing, I just put the thing goes like this one and then I was being really careful. I just good, good. Just, be super, I, super careful, I, you guys. Yeah, the thing, then I put the iPad in the, uh, this thing. Mm -hmm. Very good, you guys. Thank you very much. We, we're going to go, and thanks for being patient with us with all right the... Right now, I'm writing Pig Latin. You're writing in Pig Latin? Awesome. I would love to see your guys in Pig Latin. Let's, we, we might get some Pig Latin tomorrow. Yes. Yes, Mila. Um, today's my friend Louisa's birthday. Oh, yeah? Well, tell her happy birthday for us. Tell her, tell her to have an electric birthday. All right. 
Ilya, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to our lesson. And I like, I like your Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, our friend Ilya over here, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, okay? And come along. It was nice. Uh, Elana, Elon and Yelena. And yeah, we have, we have, those are Remy's parents. So we have Remy there as well. And uh, yeah, we had uh, Kamalani, we had Lana, Sammy and Aya, Ilya, Rami, uh, Shayla, Bella, and Lyra. A lot of people were here today. Thank you for coming, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Can, can we do um, Pig Latin tomorrow? Sure we can. See you tomorrow. Uh, Bye. Wait.